Showdown over immigration continues just a few hours after they arrived. Migrants sent to Martha's Vineyard are making their way off the island now. It was all part of political grandstanding by two governors, and many of the migrants say they were misled. CNN's Miguel Marquez has the story. After less than 48 unexpected hours in Martha's Vineyard, <laughs> nearly 50 Venezuelan migrants were given a warm send-off. Volunteers embracing each person as they boarded buses. Please, I am then ferries and onto the next part of their long journey. Their unannounced arrival Wednesday, all part of a campaign by Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to send migrants to so-called sanctuary cities by surprise. All we're trying to do is offer transport to sanctuary jurisdictions uh, free to the, to the alien, uh, but certainly not mandatory. And that way they're able to go and these sanctuary jurisdictions can put their money where their mouth is. These immigrants were picked up in Texas. Some of them say they were taken to a hotel to wait, then boarded planes. Well, we didn't know until the last minute our destinations, such as New York, where our relatives reside, he says. Yang Pablo Mora and other immigrants we spoke to here say they were promised all sorts of things, including jobs and housing, things that never materialized. We were told it was humanitarian aid by a foundation that in this case remains unknown, he says. It's just the latest account of migrants seemingly deceived and dropped off. From Washington, D.C. They felt fooled and they felt that their suffering was exploited. To confusion in New York City. Standing at Port Authority, he asked me, and how, how do I get to Portland, Oregon? To California, where Governor Gavin Newsom has asked the Department of Justice to open an investigation into the controversial practice. What uh, Ron DeSantis is doing is a disgrace. It's almost monstrous. They did get a packet that had the map of Martha's Vineyard, and they're also treated, you know, very well with all this. I mean, they're they're treated well with meals and everything. While volunteers and officials in Martha's Vineyard promptly responded and cared for their unexpected guests, lawyers assisting the immigrants say the stop did nothing but detour already desperate people. It is sickeningly cruel, throwing obstacles in the way of people fleeing violence and oppression some of whom walked through 10 countries in the hopes of finding safe, safety. My heart breaks for them because they were not the first priority. They're in my heart forever. I don't know what else to say.